The Iranian president, Ahmadinejad, caused a walkout of Western diplomats at a UN conference on racism last month when he accused Israel of being racist. But Nelson Mandela, Archbishop Desmond Tutu have called it an apartheid state and many human rights groups have criticised its policies on housing, land, jobs uh, and marriage as being discriminatory against Arabs. But Israel believes it has the right to use whatever methods necessary to defend the state against those who seek to destroy it. Is Israel a racist state or a nation under threat? Now, Selma, you're a veteran campaigner, if I can call you a veteran, it's a bit of a rude word, but you've been doing it a long time. Not at all, not at all. <laughs> a campaigner against apartheid. Yes. S S South Africa, you were a strong opponent of the South African regime. I was. Can you Israel was not, but I was. Were, were you, could you compare the two regimes? Could you seriously compare yes. Israel to South Africa? Is it racist? But the, first of all, Archbishop Desmond Tutu says it's a racist apartheid state. And Do you many agree with other, him? Pardon? Do you agree with him? I agree absolutely with him. Um, first of all, what Israel has done has been to take 93% of the land. 93% uh, of the land can be owned by Jews. Only 7% can be owned by Arabs. This is an agricultural society. In other words, you cut people off from their ability to make a living. On the other hand, Palestinian laborers have been replaced by foreign guest workers so that the Palestinian population is absolutely decimated uh, financially. I don't know how you raise children under those circumstances. Can I stop you? Can I ask you one thing? Because the comparison to South Africa, they say it's a racist state. This is a state with, this is a country with a free press. The only free press in the region. Yes, they do not right. cut people's hands off for stealing. They do not that's put you right. in prison for being gay. There is freedom of speech in Israel. For Jews. When you look across the region, for everyone. Well, I beg your pardon. Uh, oh, it's on. very There's difficult. There's freedom of speech for everybody. There's it's freedom very of difficult speech. for these views to be put forward, even in Britain. Read her oh, oh, okay, okay, Jonathan, you respond to us then. Haaretz is an unusual paper which does ah, publish so it's an exception. opposition well, okay, so, but let's, let's get Jonathan's response. Go on, Jonathan. The very fact that Ahmadinejad said Israel was a racist state should prove that it is not a racist state. Why? Ahmadine, Ahmadine, Israel and, let me and speak, please. Ahmadinejad, Ahmadinejad has, has said five times that arms. Israel should be wiped off One the map. Second. Look at the reaction of civilized nations when Ahmadinejad spoke in civilized? Geneva. They all walked out. Israel is, Israel is established because of racism against Jews over the centuries, starting with the ejection of Jews from Israel uh, uh, when the temple was disrupted in 70 AD, going through the Spanish Inquisition, uh, going through the Dreyfus case in France, going through the Holocaust. Israel Jonathan, is established can I because you, Jews have been the victims of racism for 2,000 years. Jonathan, can I ask we you a question? Can I ask you a question? And, and one right second, I will come to you. I will come to you. I want to just set the parameter of debate for people watching. Um, now, there is a law of return if you are in any way Jewish or related to somebody Jewish, you can go and live in Israel. But there is no right of return if you used to live there and you had property taken from you for a Palestinian. In what way is that not racist? Uh, if, you could, if you're going to use law of return, we would say the whole German state is racist. Because anybody who is of German ethnicity, even if they've lived for decades, generations overseas, as an automatic right of return to Germany. Now, well, if that's the definition of a state, then of course it becomes racist. No, right? Of course it does. I'm, I'm because you can't exclude people. Saying people. Racist. You can't exclude For people example, from their human rights. Article, no, it, article 116 1 of the German Basic Constitution confers the right to citizenship of any person who is admitted to Germany as a refugee or expelee of German ethnic origin. That is that? not the only country. It is the same with a number of countries. If you're a, if you're let's British, talk about Israel, please. British, and let's, let's, let's hear from Ajmal and Anne. Then I'll be back with you. And I'm, I will come to you, I promise, Haim. And I okay. will come to you, Selma. And I will come to you, Rabbi Laura, and I will come to you, Jonathan. <laughs> Ashmael, you were yes. saying? I was saying, look, if any state is established based on a person's race or religion, we in the modern world, in the civilized world, would oppose it because we think that's undemocratic. So Pakistan can, should can not I, exist. Can I finish, please? You cannot come back in a second. So <laughs> if any country is based on that, I think we would call it racist or mm. exclusive. Uh, if, if you look at the international law, sure. it says if anybody undermines indigenous people of any nation, that by definition is a racist state. And Israel has done that Can I ask you a over question? the last 45 years. I'm looking to ask sort of, yes. some, some, are Hamas racist? If they say it's only for Arabs, then yes, they are no, racist. They come up with a vile anti-Semitism that Joseph mm. Goebbels would be proud of. So this is precisely my point. If anybody, <laughs> if anybody is anti-Semitic, anti-black, anti 
anybody in that way, of course we should call them racist. Is Saudi no, Arabia a racist state? In, in my opinion, if you ask me deeply, I find it absolutely offensive that when I go to Saudi Arabia, I am treated differently than the Saudi citizens. I am on record for saying Saudi Arabia has some of the worst racist policies in the world. Mm -hmm. So I don't have a problem, in, uh, I don't have a problem in calling a person I racist have, I they have are. to say, uh, because in, in this sort of gathering, I have to say, I'm not a Jew. Mm -hmm. If I'm anything, I'm an Anglo, Scottish, Irish, Catholic. So I am not a Jew. I have worked in Israel and Palestine for decades. Um, I have written things about the Israelis and their behavior, which often is disgraceful. Uh, I've been attacked because, by Israelis. I've written about Palestinian misbehavior, of which there's a great deal. I've n nearly lost my life three times with suicide bombs. And I've been accused of being pro-Jewish. Uh, the problem is, if you use racism too loosely, you then have to say the Germans are a racist state. You have to say the Malaysians are a racist state because they discriminate against but, uh, their Chinese but, uh, isn't minority. It our moral duty no, to this, fight against racism uh, wherever they yes, happen. Yes, but no, you don't. The problem of is we have to. when people racism say racism is wrong, we have to fight it. Say we have to eliminate racism. They Simple. say they mean the Jews, and this is so unjust. Hi, hi, hi. One second. Hi. Basically, my whole family was destroyed by Nazism, by racism in, uh, in Europe in the 40s. Am I supposed to be a racist, a member of a racist society which is excluding the very people whose family was born and bred in Palestine for thousands of years? Mm -hmm. Actually, I don't want to live in a country that does this to the indigenous population. The law of return says this. The law of return allows everybody anywhere in the world and not just Jews by the way because out of the million people that came from the ex-Soviet Union 350,000 are not even Jewish they have no churches and actually some of them are anti-semitic they are allowed in because they're not Palestinians if that's not racist I don't know what is Jonathan. Yeah. I think we, we need to look at some definitions here. Let's, let's distinguish between Israeli Arabs and Palestinians. Israeli Arabs are the 20% minority who live in they Israel. They are Palestinians. Whose rights are guaranteed by the Constitution. Such as what they rights? can't. There Such is, as is, they can't get married consul, and bring their spouses from abroad. That's right. To San Francisco, the Israeli vice consul to San Francisco, is a Bedouin. He is now an advisor in the foreign ministry. There are 12, oh, Arab M there are 12 Israeli Arab MPs in the parliament. Israeli Arabs have not fantastic human rights but the government is working no, on it, and minorities in every country. I country. thought the Let's Israeli distinguish Knesset. that from the Palestinian issue. Omar, Israel. Omar, he, sorry, Omar here is uh, uh, an Israeli. You're a Palestinian, raised, Palestinian. and you in lived in East, yeah. East Jerusalem. And in what ways were you speech. discriminated against? Yeah. Could for you tell us? Speech, for example, I've been arrested four times by Israelis only by be, uh, being active for human rights issues in Jerusalem during the Palestinian elections. Saying about Palestinians, Palestinians, and I'm really definitely sure about this, Palestinians from uh, uh, 1948 have been arrested several times, around 15,000, uh, around, I think, uh, 15 of them have been killed during lots of de demonstrations against Israeli and policies. And what about jobs and housing as well? For example, I live in, in Jerusalem, I have two places, one of them, I can't enter it. It's in, inside Hebrew, which is a city in the West Bank. I'm not allowed to go there because Israelis are allowing Palestinians who are living in Jerusalem to go and enter West Bank. It's because of the discrimination mm. policies. Coming back for, for Palestinians who lived in 1948, if, if you can mention something about Azmi Bshara, he'd been uh, denied to, to, to death because he was just saying things about uh, okay. uh, equal rights for okay. all citizens. <coughs> Martin, behind you. Now, Martin, you lost lots of your family in the Holocaust. Why shouldn't he have the same rights as somebody who's Jewish in Israel? He should uh, have exactly the same rights and uh, as far as is politically possible in a democracy, uh, he does. Uh, to say that uh, the restriction on travel is purely a matter of discrimination is intensely disingenuous. Uh, this, would, this restriction wouldn't exist but for the violence. 